Hey, I'm Julia. You're watching Maybe Bishop's channel. And, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> tickle. And, um, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of DIYs. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So, a couple of them I came across watching the YouTube trying to come up with ideas to do like, uh, some cute ideas to do for school and couldn't really find any. So, I still, I still tried. So, first of all, this is a, um, this is pen ink and here we'll look at the pen that I use for it. So they're all this kind, they're not all this color. So all I did was, so all I did was I took it and I took the top off. Hmm. Technical difficulties. So all I did was, I took this, took the top off, took this out, and still have this in there. Made that in there. Then I put the spring back in. Put this back on. So it pretty much just has extra contents in it, like all the extra extras. So you can see the spring in there, and when you tip it, you can see the other stuff. You see that? Like this in there. And then you've got the, the bottom. Okay, so first of all, you're going to take this, take a feather, a feather, and cut the top. You want, uh, you want ones with the big parts right here. I'm not going to cut this in case I want to put it back in my, back in my pen and use it as an actual pen again. So, um, you can do little cute ones like this. I took a white one, and sooner or later I'm going to paint it. I know I am. But... So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna stick it in here. This should slide right in. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Okay. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Um, so I haven't tried this yet. I'm gonna take it from the top. From the hot glue all the way down. This should make it more sturdy. If you want to get creative, I guess you can take it and um, decorate it with the hot glue, like put beads on it. But I guess that one can work too. So I'm almost done. Then after you're done with this, I'm just going to let it dry. And for me, I just think it would make it a lot easier to hold and keep it sturdier. Because as I was writing with it, it would just like... It would like bend like this, and I don't like it because I'm I'd be scared that it was gonna like, fall apart or like break, and then I would have um, ink all over my hands. So I'm just gonna let that dry. It actually looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like gel. Like I just put a bunch of gel on it, but yeah. Make sure not to glue this part because it'll be a little hard. So yeah, it should dry after a little bit. If the bottom's already drying, and it's gonna be a little hot. So and I don't suggest if you're a little kid, I don't suggest doing this without parent supervision or parent or adult help. 
because it can be dangerous. You can burn yourself with it, and it is it's not it hurts when you burn yourself with hot glue because it's heat and it's it's hot obviously. So don't do this without parent supervision, please, because I don't want to get in trouble for it. Because I don't I don't want to get in trouble by any parents. So if you're a kid. If you're a little kid and you like to do projects, this is a good one, but only under parent supervision. Got it? Okay, good. So you can use as many as you want, and you just go. Remember to go all the way down, and it just makes a cute little pen. And if you have to, you could put a few layers on it, and to just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um. And also, like, be creative. Like, if you have a black feather like this, put, put black beads all the way down. It actually might make it a little bit more sturdy too, because this still bends a little. I'm gonna have to put a few more layers on it to see if it makes it sturdier. But yeah, after that, you've got a cute little quill pen you can use in school, and it makes you really unique. So. I suggest trying it because it's really cute and it's really stylish. So I suggest it. Um, when school hasn't start started for you, some of these would be a really cute idea to start now, so you don't have to do it when school's already started and you can't. Um. You just don't have the time. Like since school has started, I'm not going to be making videos as much because I'm going to be trying to focus on my studies and passing. I'm going to be trying to pass high school because passing high school is hard. Just to let you know. So I'm gonna let the, that dry. For, I don't know what the is. Okay. Next. So you guys know how you have to take a boring old water bottle, you know, like, and you have to tell your mom, "What? Why do I have to take it? It's it's boring and old and gross and." Blah blah blah. You can take a water bottle. I don't suggest using hot glue. I suggest using super glue. I don't have super glue. But you could take a regular bottle and put and like make decorations. I do suggest little beads and just use them. Like just be really careful. I like use a toothpick and put them on there one by one and make little designs. I don't know if it will work. And if you're not too sure about it, you don't have to try it. Um, what's your plan? 